do you think about when you hear the word Thanksgiving? Can you picture it, feel it, taste it even? I'm sure that the first thing that you think about is that it's an American holiday celebrated on the last Thursday of November. It is a time where families gather around a table and share one big meal together. The meal usually consists of turkey, mashed potatoes, stuffing, casseroles, and so many other things that all Americans eat during this holiday. Now, let's flip it. How do Iranians celebrate this traditional American holiday? I spoke to two Iranian ladies that have been living here for quite some time now. First, you're going to hear from Vida Shahbazi and her perspective of how it feels to celebrate this traditional holiday as an Iranian. To give you some backstory, Vida and her husband got married 33 years ago. He went to Boston University here in America and then decided to come back to Iran after graduating. That's when he met Vida and they got married and their adventures started. I'm going to let Vida tell the rest of the story. Yeah, we uh, we uh, got married in Iran, but after seven years, my, my husband used to live in um, America when uh, he was 17. He went to Boston University, graduated from there, then worked, and then came back to uh, Iran to visit. We met, we got married, and... Um, after seven years, he, he had green card. Mm -hmm. um, he decided to move back to America and bring all of us. And we had two kids, my two mm -hmm. girls. Mm -hmm. So it took us three years. So we moved, I moved, finally I got my green card and um, I came here nine, uh, July nine, 1997. Mm -hmm. So it's been um, 1997 till uh, now 23 years now. Wow, that's, 20, that's so crazy. 20, 20, 20 years. <laughs> I know, yeah. I can't believe it myself. Yeah, um, it's actually, it's funny because that your story is very similar to like my parents. Like my dad went to school here and then he came back home, married my mom, and then we all moved back here, which is funny. <laughs> <laughs> After I got to know her a little bit, I asked her this very important and fun question. My big question for you is, how do you incorporate Persian traditions into American holidays, specifically maybe even Thanksgiving or Christmas? I'm very traditional. I, I care about the Iranian traditional and I honor all the celebrations that we have and try to um, uh, stay on them. But when we came here, since my kids were young, and then I had my son here. So I honored all the celebration, all the holidays um, that we, they, uh, um, American people celebrate here. Um, start uh, celebrating th those two. So we had a mixture of Iranian and American celebration all the time. We did it in a Persian style and American style. Right. So kind of describe to me how the Persian style would look like. But when it comes to um, celebrating the holidays, American holidays, um, I, um, uh, I don't give up on my Iranian and I add some to nice. it. Awesome. Add some American to it. So it's always combination. Nice. Of nice. course. Love that. Um, you kind of touched on this, but why do you think it's important to keep up with Iranian traditions if you're still living in America? Even though that we live in America, but we came from a huge um, uh, civilization mm -hmm. and a huge uh, and the, one of the best um, tradition and culture. The culture is very important. So um, it's, a, it's a very privilege for my kids that they live in America. They you can use the opportunity here, but they don't lose their, um, their originality and their culture. Nice. Yeah, I love that. After moving away from the talks of traditions, I decided to ask her how she's going to incorporate her Iranian tradition into the holidays this year, especially because COVID is now a thing that's prohibiting her from having a big gathering. So I am, uh, I used to have um, Thanksgiving in my house for a few years and 60, 70 people invited 60, 70 people, all my friends here. And um, we had such a good time and I was cooking before even I start because um, I love to cook. That's my passion. Nice. Um, and um, I love to entertain people and I love to have people in my house. As we move on from Vida and her awesome incorporations of Iranian traditions into Thanksgiving, let me introduce you to Nikki Helayatzadeh. 
Nikki has been living in America since she was 11 years old, and for her family, specifically her mom, Thanksgiving is the perfect holiday to incorporate some Iranian traditions. Thanksgiving, especially, is my mom's favorite holiday all around. For my mom, it is the epitome of being American, voting and Thanksgiving. It's really the, we don't celebrate Christmas really, but Thanksgiving is a big deal. Mm -hmm. uh, she likes to do all the very, very American things for Thanksgiving. The rest of our family, we always have her make a Persian dish to go with our Thanksgiving. <laughs> what would that dish be? What has that dish been in like the past years? Does it change? It's it's always the same. My sister and I love, it's called nohor polo. It, it, um, it's like um, bagali polo, but it's with, the, with peas. So it's a green peas and dill with rice. This is our Thanksgiving tradition, having this Persian dish that kind of works into all these American dishes. She told me that since there is a lot of different cultures and religions in her family, she also celebrates pretty much every single holiday that you could think about. My husband's Jewish, we do Passover, we'll do Persian New Year. Persian New Year is my kid's favorite, so that's their, their big, biggest thing. Um, our, our best friends are um, Chinese, so we do Chinese New Year with them. We'll do, we just celebrate a lot of different things just in America. <laughs> and obviously, I had to ask her the big elephant in the room question as well. How have you found your enthusiasm for the holidays, especially right now with COVID and everything going on? Because we normally do have all my family come to Phoenix from all over, all from the East Coast um, and West Coast, and we don't have it this year. And honestly, we it just keeps getting smaller and smaller because we have, I have elderly people in my family and we're even the ones that are in town don't feel very comfortable doing stuff. And so... Um, we're trying to do like a, a Zoom for the family, but I don't, I, we haven't found a really creative way to get it all together. Now I know what you're all thinking. Will there be no hot polo? Here's what she said. Um, but my sister is going to make the, the peas and rice. She's going to make the no hot polo on the East Coast for her family. Oh, I love that. Yay. <laughs> if you are an Iranian watching, which I think the majority of you are, or if you are an Iranian who was born here, I hope that you enjoy learning about how these two ladies incorporate small but mighty Iranian traditions into American holidays, specifically Thanksgiving. For me personally, I love Thanksgiving. I think it's a very underrated holiday, and we always try to incorporate Iranian side dishes such as rice, tadik, salachirazi, and chicken into the mix in my family. I hope that everyone watching has a fantastic holiday season and I wanted to give you all a very special happy Thanksgiving.